Right. Speaking of the Pope, the jury is ready to go. <laughs> 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 Ladies and gentlemen, Councillor, Mr. Chairman, Tommy Beard is the timekeeper. <laughs> members of the government, members of the opposition, colleagues from the jury. Ten days ago, at the Irish Embassy, the French Debating Association had the pleasure of hosting our schools final, where young men and young women between 14 and 17 years of age showed their interest and their eloquence. They showed their rhetoric and they showed their ability to convince, to persuade and to cajole. Tonight, to quote the great Sir Winston Churchill, Rarely in the history of mankind have so many been so bored by so few. <laughs> it is a shame, I agree. But, ladies and gentlemen, more seriously, but there was not serious. The members, the members of the jury, as you did, I'm sure, enjoyed a wonderful evening. We reminisced, I certainly did, and I think uh, both of my colleagues did on the jury. And when we were discussing and deliberating, we also reminisced about those terrifying moments when you were in a team and the chairman of the jury came out and he appeared to be about to give the verdict, but in fact went on and on and on. Yes, I can see in your faces you remember that. Well, tonight, that's not what's going to happen. Tonight, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to cut to the quick, we're going to shoot from the hip, we're going to go straight to the point, we're going to get there, it's going to be the essence of the week, so it's going to be the point. The winning team is the opposition. Congratulations to the opposition and also, of course, to the, to the government. I will now pass over to Shannon, who will explain why we reached that decision. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, first of all, we would like to start by saying uh, once again how wonderful it was uh, to hear all of you. And first of all, congratulations to all of you. We thought that it was a very good debate and it was hard for us to. Uh, make a decision. So congratulations again for every single member of both teams for giving us the pleasure of listening to a great debate. The reason we have chosen your team uh, that was um, the fact that we saw such good teamwork, uh, a real sense of teamwork. It was dynamic, there was talking and whispering, and there was a real sense of emotion. And I think we all just really felt that uh, and we felt like we were drawn to your team. The strength of your arguments and the way you structure it, but also the way that you were uh, able to revert it um, in a funny way, in, in, a, in an intelligent way, in a respectful way. Um, with all of that, and lastly, uh, what we all noted is the fact that the domestic part so hard to define, but we felt you had it. Thank you very much once again and congratulations. It was a pleasure to hear you all. And now my colleague Manny will uh, announce the uh, prize for the best speaker. Um, I should admit that I really enjoyed this debate. I believe you, you enjoyed it as well. I mean, I heard some 10 speeches that were out of this world. Uh, some funny, some sharp, some well argumented, well structured speeches. And I really debated a lot to, to choose one speech that really uh, was the best between all those best speeches. 
and uh, to say the best speaker was the oldest veteran, David Frank. Yeah.